When the city was evacuated, everybody was told that they were, it was a small accident at the power plant, a small fire, they'd be gone for a day, day and a half. So buses came down one side, a thousand buses, picked everybody up, took them out the other side, never to return. So this is hospital number 126. It's the hospital for the city of Pripyat. In the basement is where, the, after the, the explosion, they brought the first responders, the firemen, here. And they were so radioactive, uh, they took all their clothing off and actually put the clothing in the basement. Wait, 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 wait. Let me check. This, I think this is where the firemen's clothing is. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty high radiation level. You know, you can go in. We just don't want to spend a lot of time in there. It's a uh, dark. <laughs> ah and uh, a little scary. When you're in an area like that, uh, you, you don't see radiation, you don't smell radiation, you don't taste radiation. So if you stayed in that room for an hour, you would have gotten about a quarter of the dose that you're actually allowed to in a year. Just flew across the entire city of Pripyat. To date, this is the longest drone flight I've ever made in my entire life. You know, I get asked a lot why I keep coming back. I think the first time I came, it was more of a, an anomaly. It started just as a, a photography project. And one of the biggest mistakes I made before coming on my first trip was not doing enough research. Uh, I sort of hit the ground blind, not really knowing what was here. Um, I went back after and then researched the heck out of it. I read every book, I've seen every movie that's been made on the topic. And it's, there's just this, this fascination of what happened here, what's happened since. And that's really what the, the, the film that I'm making is about. This is uh, the Natatorium Lazurne. Uh, it was the big swimming pool in the, in the city of Pripyat. One of the reasons this is a really interesting place to film is it's, it's wide open. I mean, it's 40 foot ceiling, slope, very modern, concrete tile, a lot of texture, and it has different height elements. So you can fly off the edge of the pool, down into the shallow and across the shallow, and then all of a sudden it falls away, and then up, and you hit these diving boards. This is the Pripyat River, the area in which all the ships that after the accident were let go, anchors pulled up and just floated down the river and got caught in the bend here and have sat here for 30 years. We're, we're getting to the point now that uh, not many of the ships are left. Cinematography is all about perspective. Take a, a shot head on, you know, it's kind of interesting, but you go up a little bit or down a little bit, you change that perspective and it, it takes the person a little off center and it draws them into the image. And a drone just fits in there that you can just get an amazing angles and images and motion and, you know, complex motions, you know, lateral and horizontal at the same time and just in vertical and just really change the way somebody perceives an image and draws them in. Most importantly, I promise to love you forever. I promise to be your comrade in adventure, even when that adventure brings you to the location of the world's worst nuclear disaster. So we just got married in the church in Kreshny. Uh, from the 1800s. I got married to <laughs> Elizabeth Hansen, my beautiful bride.
And I feel like I've been on this this journey to Chernobyl with with Philip for you know as long as I've known him. I just thought that this time, why don't we just get married in Chernobyl, and it would just be a special personal um, experience for us both.